Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'll demonstrate how I model asphalt for my model railroads and my dioramas. So I've been studying different ways that other people have been doing it and a little bit of experimentation of my own. And I think I finally came up with a way that I really like. So I'll show you how I do it and then maybe it'll be a good fit for your model railroad or diorama. So let's get started. The primary material we'll be using to create the asphalt itself is tile grout. This is the brand I've been using, and it comes in a number of different colors. You can get it in two forms, pre-mixed in a tub like this, or in a bag as a dry, gritty powder. Depending on the look you're after, you'll want to make sure to pick the right form to start with. Also, before you purchase the grout from the store, make sure you're getting the kind that's designed for thin applications. I chose one that's suited for thicknesses between 1 16th and a half an inch, as I want my asphalt to be about an eighth of an inch thick for my HO scale layout. Adjust as needed for different scales. Here's what we'll be creating in this video. As you can see by the samples here, we can make the asphalt look anywhere from recently paved to worn out and crumbling. And here's all the materials I'll be using in this video. Feel free to pause to look over everything. In real life, asphalt starts out as a freshly paved surface, so we'll start somewhere around there. For this look, we'll want to use the pre-mixed form. If you can't find any pre-mixed grout at the store, you can always just get the dry version and mix in some water to get it to the same starting state. The color I've chosen for recently paved asphalt is called natural gray, which is a dark gray color. I like to avoid black since real asphalt, even when freshly applied, is really just a dark shade of gray when viewed in sunlight anyway. All we really need to do for this recently paved version is to simply scoop it from the container and smear it onto the surface where we want our asphalt located, smoothing and shaping it along as we go. What's nice about tile grout is that it holds its shape very well in thin applications like this, so we can easily simulate the slopes along the edges of the roads that you typically see. I'm using plastic putty knives, which lends to a nice smooth surface to shape my roadway with. If the grout is sticking too much to your putty knife, or you want a really smooth surface to your roadways, mist a little water onto the putty knife before smoothing out the tile grout. That'll make a big difference. Once we get to the desired shape and thickness of the grout, we set it aside and let it set for at least 24 hours. The length of time could vary depending on temperature and humidity in your room. Down here in my basement, I need to wait about a day and a half to two days until it's finally set because it tends to get a little chilly down here. After the grout has set, we have a very basic, recently paved road. I like to quickly sand the grout with a sanding sponge just to smooth over any spots that I feel need it. Now it's time to make it look just a little better. For the lines on the road, I mask off where I want the lines to be using painter's tape, then use some artist pencils to draw them on. Here and there you can even add some weathering powder or artist pastels to simulate dust and dirt. After all, fresh roadways quickly become dirty. Once happy with the look of the road, I seal it with a coat of Krylon matte sealer, and now it's done. Roads don't stay fresh for long, and quickly get faded and full of dirt and spills. For this example, we'll use the pre starting point like with the recently paved road, but we'll start with a lighter colored grout. For this, I'm using DeLorean Gray. I couldn't find any premixed tubs of this color at the store, so I'm premixing the dry form with some water and a drywall mud pan first. Once it's around the consistency of mashed potatoes, it's time to smear it onto the surface, shape it, and let it set up. After it's set, I start sanding it with the sanding sponge again, but this time I do it longer and with a little more force. This helps to give it a look that's a little bit more worn out. Next, I apply some pastels and weathering powders and add my lines with masking tape and artist pencils. I purposefully make the lines on the road look a little faded by not pushing down as hard on the pencils. And since painted lines fade over time, I want mine to look that way as well. I also add in some oil spills by applying some small drops of an India ink and isopropyl alcohol mix. I use a 40 to 1 ratio of alcohol to ink, which still leaves dark spots but it's thin just enough to be able to darken it in layers if I want. Once happy with the results, I again seal it up with Krylon Matte Sealer.
The more the years go by, the worse roadways look when little or no maintenance occurs on them. Let's make a roadway that's in terrible condition. For this, we'll want to start with the dry tile grout. Start by scooping some grout onto the work surface, and then spread it out, smoothing some areas but intentionally leaving others looking a little rougher. You can even leave some parts with a smaller thickness than in other places to get that uneven look. Next, I'm using a small spray bottle to mist some isopropyl alcohol and water mixture over all of the grout. This will help break the surface tension and allow subsequent applications of water to penetrate better. Once everything is sprayed, I come back with a small bottle of just water and thoroughly mist the grout until I see water just barely start to pool on top. We want to make sure that the water gets all the way down into the grout so that it hardens to the surface properly, otherwise it'll just flake off later on. After the grout hardens, it's time to pull out the sanding sponge again and go to town. After that, applying weathering powders and other spills and stains to get the look you want. For the lines on the road, you can either forego that step completely or mask off the sections that will have lines and instead of using artist pencils, rub some white or yellow weathering powder or artist pastels into the grout. When you peel back the tape, you'll have the outline of the lines, but they'll look really faded. For potholes or broken or cracked asphalt, I simply press down on the grout with a knife, forcing the grout to crack. Afterwards, I apply my water and glue mixture to the pieces so they remain in place. After the glue sets, I sometimes touch up those areas with more weathering powder or pastels. Once happy with the look, seal it with Krylon Matte Sealer. And there we go, three different types of asphalt roadways using the same product. Pretty convincing, right? All right, so there we go. So we have some asphalt that's modeled nicely. I think it'll look really good on my HO scale layouts. Now you can adjust this for other scales as well or different types of dioramas. Uh, just keep in mind the, uh, the texture. If it's a smaller scale, like N scale or something like that, you want to make it uh, a little bit of finer of a texture. So uh, using that sanding sponge to really smooth it out a little bit more will probably help. Or misting that putty knife with the water and really getting a nice smooth surface, that'll help as well. So for the larger scales, like maybe S, O, or G, um, if you're going that route, or for other different types of dioramas, I know um, a lot of guys like to model this type of look for um, like uh, runways and things like that. So just make your texture uh, a little bit grittier and so it looks more to scale. Now I really like this um, look for like the recently paved uh, road. I think that looks really good. I wasn't too keen on this faded one. I think I need to practice this a little bit more. Also, I really want to get um, the cracks and crevices and you know the splits in the asphalt showing up a little bit better in this type of look. There's a couple of different ways uh, I'm going to experiment with, with doing that. Um, so more to come on that later. I'll probably be creating another video at some point once I kind of uh, figure that out. So uh, one way you could, now that I'm thinking about it, is you could just take like a graphite pencil and just draw them on. Um, but when you get to the spots that are really rough, that may look a little weird. So again, I'm gonna be experimenting a little bit more. So expect another video on some asphalt creation. Um, and I really, really like this one. I think I'm gonna be using this uh, for my new HO scale switching layout for a lot of the kind of parking lot areas uh, because I am modeling an area that's kind of run down, that's been utilized over the years. It's sort of modern day, uh, but the asphalt has really been beat up. So you're going to see a lot of this type of stuff on that layout. And uh, I think this, this one was really fun to make, and I really enjoyed this one the best. So um, the cracks came up pretty good in this one, but again, I'll be uh, experimenting more with that, so more later on for that. Uh, but that's all for this video. If you liked it, let me know by hitting that like button. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you next time.